everyone. So, um, like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to be making a series of video where I just talk about my thoughts and opinions about stuff in the world that concerns me and what's going on. And it'd be great if you guys left comments and gave me feedback about what you guys think. Um, if there's stuff you think I left out. Or, you know, just discuss shit, you know? Um, so, unfortunately, I'm kind of camera shy, and this is very uncomfortable for me. Especially since I've only been doing this since, what, last night? And, um, I'm also very random. Incredibly random, actually. I jump from one subject to another, and it's very hard for me to keep on one topic. So that will be incredibly confusing for you guys. So what I'm going to do is, um, like I said before, I wrote a few notes about topics I'd like to talk about on my Facebook. So for now, till I get the hang of this, I'm just going to read from my notes on Facebook and just throw in an opinion or two. But um, also, my webcam sucks. And it only lets me record for 10 minutes. So, um, this is going to be a two-part video. And I'm going to do, um, for and against. And that's for euthanasia. I'm going to do for, no, against euthanasia first. And then for it. And for those of you who don't know what euthanasia is, um, well, to basically sum it up, euthanasia is, um, mercy kill. So, yeah, let's get started. Euthanasia. The first use of the word was by Suetonius. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so, um, bear with me. Um, yeah, it was first used by him when describing Emperor Augustus' death as quick and without suffering, and in the arms of his wife. He experienced the euthanasia he had wished for. Throughout the centuries, I'm sure people have taken its meaning differently depending on the current values and morals of the time. It goes without doubt that originally when the word and concept were used in a medical text by Francis Bacon, it was considered a physician's responsibility to alleviate the physical sufferings of the body through an easy, quick, painless, and happy death. In today's world, when asked about thoughts on euthanasia, it's considered morally wrong in that no one, absolutely no one, should be allowed it. Now, before you click away, just ask yourself why you think euthanasia is wrong. Why you think it shouldn't be supported at all. Now, if all you can come up with is because it's wrong and that you're going to go to hell for it, well, maybe you should look up the subject a bit more and just hear what I got to say. Now, um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that two major arguments against euthanasia would be that it rejects the value of life and that it will become involuntary. At best, euthanasia is ideal for the terminally ill. Thing is, what falls under terminally ill? No one can ever be sure how long a human being has left of life. Some patients who were told they had a few months to live ended up having years to go. My brother was one of these cases. He was three years old with leukemia and with very little hope of surviving. Doctors actually only predicted a few months of him to live. He endured great pain every day he was hospitalized. More pain than someone like, I don't know, me with a messed up leg could ever take. And he was just three years old. But, um, 20 years later, he's a happy adult. He, um, probably not as bright as he could have been if he had, 
he wasn't given so many medication and all that crap they did to him, but um, it's what saved him, and he's healthy, and he has a job, and he goes to college, and he balances both pretty well. Now, if he used an age on this an option, he would have died long before that, and you know, he wouldn't be here today, but this is just one case. And it doesn't happen to everyone. But it goes back to how can anyone really be sure that someone's pain is going to last forever. And that they're not going to survive anyways. Also, some people believe that with the choice of euthanasia, people with mental disorders and who are already down and feel guilty will think that they should choose euthanasia because they're fucking up everybody else's life and that, you know, it's wrong for them not to. And they'd probably do this before they realize that there's hope and that they can get help and that before they'd ever see any results. Suicide rates could skyrocket. Also, People fear that euthanasia may become involuntary. And if it does become involuntary, who gets to decide? What if you come across a mentally handicapped person who really doesn't understand much of anything? Who can't read or write or understand anything but the most simple concepts? Most people would hate to live like that. I'd hate to live like that. But... What about the individual? People may think that might be merciful, but what about them? They don't understand the things everyone else does. They don't see that they're missing out on anything and they feel no pain over it. So they don't see their life as meaningless or miserable. And if their life isn't hurting, and if they're not hurting anyone. Why cut their life short? Really. But, um, yeah, that's my argument against euthanasia. And in the next video, I'll be arguing for it. Now, considering this is a very tricky subject, and one with valid points for both sides, I'm going to provide arguments for both as unbiased as I can be to the best of my abilities. If I leave out anything, and I probably will, I don't know much about the subjects, just let me know, leave a comment, in back, inbox me, whatever. I'm fine with either, and just you know, if you'd like to further discuss it, just let me know. Just make sure you have valid points and evidence and not just use insults because I don't agree with something that you say or because my opinions differ from your own. Alright then, well, till the next video.